what's going on? Plug up a game here back with another episode video. And today we're going over the update for December 15th, starting off with the new chapter for the Espa collaboration side story. So uh, this one is going to feature Giselle, right, for chapter three. So we're going to unlock uh, the uh, the chapter three unity points. And so uh, I actually really like this mechanic. I talked about it last week but i think this is great because you don't necessarily need to have the unit in order to be able to gain more points or to get bonus points you just play through the side story right farm the side story and you're able to unlock all of the rewards which is i think really really nice especially uh if you're having a a, a difficult time trying to pull all of these units uh, because it is a total of four espa units right uh but giselle is dropping this week uh, she does look pretty good. Uh, you know, she, from her initial preview, she looks very, very strong. Okay, she is an Earth Mage unit. And uh, I think that she's going to play a lot like a slower nuker, right? We we showcased Roy, uh, you know, when the uh, Full, Metal, Full Metal Alchemist collaboration was here. Uh, and he does an insane amount of damage, but he does take setup. And I think that she's going to be very similar to where she does an insane amount of damage, but she does take a lot of setup, a lot of team synergy uh, in order for her to be able to do what she needs to do. Uh, but I think that if you can build a team around her, you have the gear for her uh, because that's another thing, right? Uh, because of the way her kit is, you, you want to give her your best gear. She is going to be a plus 15 unit. Uh, plus 15 skill enhancements because you want her to deal damage you want her to do what she needs to do uh, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about who you might invest in uh, we have her mage exclusive artifact here which is frame of light this one when attacking with a single attack increases damage dealt by 16 percent uh, so you get just a, a base increased damage dealt. Uh, when the enemy is defeated with a single attack gains 10 souls at the start of the next turn so her kit does involve uh, you know, getting kills, following up, right, cycling through that, and just uh, completely clearing out the opposing team. But she is going to be here until the 29th. Now, keep in mind that with her banner coming, uh, we are losing, or one banner is going away, and that's Ning Ning. So I think as of this video, uh, the, the Ning Ning is going to be uh, here just for another like maybe 15 hours or so so her banner so if you still haven't gotten a chance to pull her or pull for her uh you know you got about 15 hours to go uh, and then we're gonna get the new rotation with giselle and then right after that we're gonna get karina and we're gonna talk about karina here in a bit uh politis is on this rotation with giselle still a very strong unit uh, going against non-attack skills, she was, I think, like the very first uh, quote-unquote non-attack skill or a unit that punished non-attack skills, right? And she still is very, very strong. Uh, so, but I would still kind of hold off on pulling uh, Politis because she is in-game, right? And you can always pull her at any point. Uh, so you might want to choose a collab unit instead of a unit that you can pull from the game powder of knowledge so this one here it's a feels bad right uberia's tooth is finally in the powder of knowledge shop and this is a feels bad because since huayang was was released all the way up until she got nerfed they never released uberius's tooth in the powder shop you could never get it anywhere you couldn't get it off a banner uh you couldn't buy it from the shop so there was no way for you to get it unless you got lucky so uh, now it's there, so now you can fully max out your Iberius Tooth now that Huayang got nerfed, right? Uh, we got Touch of Recos, Bloody Rose, Sword of Judgment, Dust Devil, Potion Vial, Els Fist, and Adamant Shield. You know, honestly, you could 100% save your powder, uh, especially with the collab units and each of them being limited and having limited artifacts, right? I don't know how many people actually uh, are able to get the artifact and the unit every single time right because you got to do that four times uh and then all of these artifacts they kind of want you to limit break them right to get multiple copies and that's rough uh and when you can't pull multiple copies you can always buy at least one more copy or one copy of that limited artifact so 
All right, last but not least, we have the special check-in event for Giselle. You're gonna log in seven days in a row uh, and you're gonna pick up some ESPA collaboration bookmarks along the way. You're getting a total of 30. Uh, so these will definitely help with pulling Giselle or Karina, whoever you choose to use these on. Uh, I'm gonna go all in to Giselle starting off and then hopefully we don't get to pity. Uh, so that way we can use whatever we have left over for Karina. But keep in mind when Karina drops, we will be getting another check-in event for Karina. So you're going to be getting an additional 30 bookmarks. Uh, but other than that, that's going to be it for me. Let me know your thoughts about this week's update. You know, are you pulling for Giselle or are you waiting for Karina? Uh, let me know your thoughts about the other ESPA collab units in the comment section below. Like always, if you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.